I can do, sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging you. I'm literally begging Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you. Please. 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 That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse. I don't know you. Spin me on my face right now. She spit in my face. Today's video takes us to Alberta, Canada, where we find a fraudster who thinks that the police are following him, thinks his phone is bugged. Oh, dearie me. Let's all sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy. Since I made a complaint on Andrew A. Smith, 62260, um, my phone has been bug the police have been following and harassing me um stalking me uh making me fear and trying to intimidate me um which i have on video and i'll play that clip for you guys in a bit um but this is a very serious problem um so I, i'm reaching out to the public of chestermere and the public of calgary um so stalking and harassment and bullying by police officers is a serious issue this fraudster is nothing but a troublemaker and every chance he gets he goes at it with the cops he's been arrested twice that i know about yeah nearly a third time but not quite well let's continue with our story okay so um with that being said um i talked to uh, a police officer had talked to me and told me a conversation that i had had with my sister on the phone that no one was privy to it was just me and my sister i was in my car on my phone she was in her car on her phone we were talking and an rcmp sheriff and uh, police officer had made it clear that they knew about that conversation to me the, the only way they could know is if my phone was bugged so you have the police using these resources on me i'm not a, I, I haven't been convicted of anything i'm not a criminal the charges that i have been charged with were put against me for making a complaint on Andrew A. Smith. The boy is delusional and suffers from paranoid personality disorder. We can't believe a word that comes out of his mouth. He just wants people to feel sorry for him. Are you trying to e-beg Sonny Board? Do you think that you need some money so you can sue the police? So in retaliation, they said two and a half months prior like the day I went in, this is what you guys need to realize. The day I went in to make the complaint with um, Chris Bannerholt, who is the lead investigator investigating Andrew A. Smith, when I went in to meet him to make a statement is when they arrested me for something they say I did two and a half months prior, prior to being arrested. So I went in to make the complaint. At the precinct with Chris Bannerholt and I got arrested for making the complaint and they say it was because something I did two and a half months ago that is not true but because I was going forward with the complaint they're like okay we're gonna teach this guy a lesson that sounds good to me because frauditors need to learn a lesson they need valuable life lessons that you can't screw around with police officers they're there for your safety, not your enjoyment. So since then, um, just to tell you about my story since then, they've been following, harassing me, making it clear that, um, that they're there. Um, I've been pulled over multiple times. Uh, I've been threatened with arrest. I've been threatened to putting on gloves, trying to intimidate me. Um, all because they want me, they, like, they think they're my slave master. This behavior goes back to slave masters, okay? Uh, back to the Confederate flag. The, the, the police that wear the blue line might as well wear a Confederate flag. That's what they're standing up for their prior soldiers, okay? The prior ones that tried to keep us in chains, tried to keep us down as a whole, as a people, as anyone of color. These, these police officers are sick. They're misusing they're they're misusing um 
all of this stuff. They're surveilling me. They've got my phone tapped. I have that. That's a fact. That what the hell is he babbling about with slavery in the United States and the Confederacy? You're in Canada, man. Shut your trap. Um, bullying. Like, you know, following me around constantly, um, surveilling me to see what I'm doing. Uh, they're making up more lies. Um, this officer had told me that they're saying that I'm threatening them. Um, that I'm like all of this stuff that's not true. I didn't um, say this, you know but they're trying to justify why they're stalking me, why they're bullying me. And your attitude leaves a lot to be desired, Sonny Boy. I've watched your videos and I have to edit them. Oh my gosh. The words that come out of your mouth, you have absolutely no respect for police officers at all. You ought to take that cross off because you definitely don't believe in the Bible, bro. And since then, since I made the complaint on this guy, they just won't leave me alone. They've increased their pressure, letting me know that they have my phone bugged and that they are listening, trying anything they can do to find something on me. And in my other video that I posted on the TikToks, um, you clearly see this officer opening something, a bottle, something in his hand. He was going to put something in my car to try to frame me. That's how bad these guys want me. Like, this is crazy and insane. Pulling me over for no reason. Um, quoting the TSA, which I have a whole other video on. Please uh, check out that video of actual case law of the TSA. I may give them my information um, because they want to hold me accountable or um, something if you do something. I didn't do anything. So, you guys, we do not give up your rights. I am here, Alberta Rights Media, and I will never give up my rights, you guys. I don't know anything about Canadian laws, but I know they're quite similar to what we have here in the States. And I tell you, man, you can be arrested just as easily as you can here in the States. So if you want to give up your rights and don't want to shut your mouth, you go to jail for a while. Maybe that'll cool you off. Never. These guys are thugs, bullies, and they need to be stopped. Like, you guys are... Canada is giving up our rights we have rights, you guys. Come on, please wake up. This is disgusting behavior from they'll these put officers. On their gloves, they'll punch you in the face and the body. They'll bend your wrist. They'll give you nerve damage. These police are sick. All they want to do is go hands on, whether it's sexual, like uh, Singh, um, or it, it, it's aggressive, like Andrew A. Smith. Um, these guys are sick. They have a god complex. I'm not just guys. Please listen to me. We are losing our rights. You need to stand up for them. We need to stand up for them. When these behaviors um, are exhibited by police officers, it raises a significant, significant concerns about the abuse of power, violations of individuals' rights. The boy can't even speak his mind. He has to read from his tablet in front of him. You're a pitiful little man. Oh, you're pitiful. Well, I'm glad he's in Canada because we have enough yahoos right here in the States. And uh, his rhetoric continues for about another 25 minutes, but that's all we're going to listen to. I may bring you part two. I don't know, because uh, listening to this guy is just, uh, oh, it's horrific. But at any rate, if you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by, sonny boy. Give up this frauding. It's not for you, boy. Cheers to that. I've actually studied English, and uh, I have a, over a 400 level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? Oh, no I'm reason really, to have... I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm going to arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, she's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the law. Do. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the line. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car, I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me. You are a public servant. You are a public servant. You work for me. 